Hello, my roughly dear here, and welcome back to a new flea market haul on my channel. So today I have again a huge, huge haul for you guys, and that's basically because I have the haul of two months here instead of the usual one that uh, I show it to you guys. And this is the haul of uh, September and October from the flea market. Now, um, why didn't I separate the two months? Um, as you guys may have heard or know from a, a previous video of mine that before Halloween I actually uh, ended up getting sick so uh, I usually record the stuff from previous months uh, in the next month so I don't know if that makes sense but I should have recorded the um, September haul in October and you know the October haul in November but that did not happen because I got sick and uh, the two months kind of piled up and got mixed uh, in the box that I'm keeping my stuff in uh, until recording so um, everything just got mixed up and I just thought that you know what I'm just going to record uh, both of these uh, uh, monthly hauls in just one video and just you know get it done um, I also wanted to mention that I'm not sure when the next uh, flea market haul video will be because uh, in November and December, and I'm recording this in December actually, um, I didn't go to the flea market because we have some uh, restrictions over here in my country and uh, not everyone is allowed to go to the flea market um, because you know it gets really crowded and a lot of people there. So uh, I didn't go and I'm not sure when I will be able to go next, we'll see. So um, for now this is uh, the last one, I'm pretty sure this video will be up in probably January or February or something like that, so I'm, I'm not sure when exactly, but this will be the last one for now, as far as I know. And uh, again, I apologize because I know I'm way behind with all of my videos, but it's just when you don't have time, you don't have time. <laughs> and also I apologize because of this light, it's already dark outside, you know, as I said before, we are in Dece December and, uh, you know, just uh, the days are so short uh, and uh, I no longer have natural light out, so I just thought that I'm just going to use a light because the stuff that I'm showing you guys, you will be able to see those on the screen on pictures as well, so it's not like super important to have uh, good light <laughs> when I record the, this video so uh, yeah now those things aside this is the first part of this uh, flea market haul because again I'm separating these in two parts because again I have just a ton of, a ton of stuff and otherwise this video will be long it's already long now so I'm going to go by as quickly as I can and try not to talk a lot about the stuff that I'm going to show you guys but um, We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, first off, I'm going to start off as usual with some plushies. Now, uh, I did not find like a ton of plushies, uh, which is uh, okay, I guess. Um, so, I have here a super cute werewolf plushie, and this uh, is actually a kiwi uh, werewolf from the Misfit series, you know, the series of fruits and veggies that are, uh, are also monsters and I've shown you guys a few of these already in my previous uh, flea market haul videos this is a series I, I'm, I started collecting and I really really love them and this kiwi werewolf is just super cute in my opinion I still need like four more to complete this series so hopefully whenever I will go to the flea market um, next time I will be able to at least find more of these we'll see but I'm really happy with this one now uh, speaking of fruits and veggies I also found quite a few of the um, these little guys, the Vita Minis or the Mini Goodness uh, Gang uh, Fruits and Veggies. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you guys one by one because there are uh, quite a few pieces. But this is the little broccoli, this is the cherry, which is my favorite fruit by the way. And you guys will be able to see uh, the pictures on the screen now. So yes, there's the broccoli, there's the cherry, there's um, the banana, uh, lemon, orange and uh, another two uh, which I don't remember at the moment because I don't have all of them here with me 
but yeah all of them are super cute so I'm really happy to add those uh, to my collection to my growing with a minis collection as well and last but not least this is the last plushie because as I said before I did not find a lot of them uh, this is actually like a tiny uh, like keychain uh, plushie and it's a little Hatchimals plushie now uh, I am not like a super big fan of, of Hatchimals uh, I have one which I found on the flea market and it's working it's cute but it's not really like something that would keep me occupied for a long time I actually only like to um, collect those teeny tiny Hatchimals collectibles because I think those are really cute and a fun thing to collect uh, why did I grab this? I have no idea. I think it was like super cheap or it was like in a bundle with something else in the flea market and uh, otherwise I think it's it's pretty cute so I'm keeping it but I'm not planning on, I don't think I will be uh, collecting these if I find more. Are these made by McDonald's maybe? Or maybe not. Oh no, I thought that these were like uh, you know made for McDonald's but they are not so I guess just a Hatchimal uh, product. Now moving on, uh, I'm going to show you guys before I start on with the dolls. Uh, I'm actually going to start with uh, the Monchichi, you know, I uh, lately have uh, been collecting Monchichi dolls, I guess. I'm not, not sure what to call them. And I found more of them and I'm really happy about this. So uh, I have here two super cute girls because they are both girls. Um, this one is in absolutely amazing condition. Like the fur is just, I don't think anyone was playing with her. Uh, and this one is in much much rougher uh, condition. Uh, I gave both uh, of these a bath if I'm correct. Uh, and uh, you can probably tell from the face of this one that uh, it's a little bit yellowed too. So yes, it's one. this one is in just a uh, Maybe it's, it's a little bit older too than this one, uh, and uh, yeah, she needs to uh, get a change <laughs> because this um, bow in her hair is just uh, awful looking. And I'm going to exchange this one too because it's coming apart as well. Uh, what uh, else to say? Um, I think they are both, and um, I'm pretty sure because this one still has this tag that this is a Sekiguchi. Uh, one and I'm pretty sure this one it is as well. The tag has been cut off, but uh, I can tell from the face uh, But yeah, I am really happy. I'm going to make some clothes for this because I love to make clothes for these uh, Munchiches all of my munchiches have clothes so They need some uh, clothes as well and I actually have here my first ever uh, of these huge uh, Munchichi dolls uh, now I have no idea what kind of um, brand this one is because it has n no tags uh, the face looks kind of like a Sekiguchi one but um, judging from the plastic or the rubber uh, and the fur uh, it's it I think it's something else uh, I grabbed it because it was like one dollar and it's it's a pretty big one so just a thought that why not have um, one of these larger ones as well I have no idea where I'm going where I'm going to keep this because they are starting to really um, get crowded in my uh, wardrobe where I'm keeping them but we'll see and this one uh, needs also some clothes but I'm not sure what uh, I'll make for this one yet and last but not least there is also this teeny tiny one I have no idea again of what kind of brand this is but I just couldn't resist when I saw it it's a teeny tiny baby one chichi and honestly it's the first time I ever saw like that there's a baby one so I, I am I absolutely in love with this one. It's just so so adorable. Like you can see how tiny it is next to a like a regular um, size Manchichi. So super cute. Uh, and if any of you like recognizes this or what kind of brand it is, uh, please uh, leave a comment on my Facebook uh, page because uh, you won't be able to leave a comment on this video. I have to turn it off. But if you recognize what kind of you know Manchichi this is, please let me know because um, I'm interested to see if there are others, other colors, other type of uh, of these teeny tiny baby ones because they are just really really cute. So uh, yeah, those were the Manchichis. Now we move on to the actual dolls. And first off, 
I have found another one of the large sized Lala Loopsy dolls uh, and this one is a boy doll, I have no idea what his name is but again I just grabbed this one because you know I have a girl one, I have one of the smaller ones and uh, this is a boy one and this one also has his original outfit and both shoes so I'm really happy um, that I was able to find him in such such great condition I think he is cute and he will go nicely next to my uh, girl one uh, his head is a little bit smaller than the girl one because of the hair but I really don't mind because I think he is uh, really uh, cool looking I think he's like a uh, mechanic uh, like a um, core mechanic or something like that but yeah super uh, awesome find in my opinion uh, now I have found one more of the the Shopkins Shoppy dolls and she is also honestly in great condition this is the one um, her name is uh, Spaghetti Sue if I'm correct because I did search uh, which one she is but she is of, of course missing her skirt and shoes unfortunately and her hair is uh, has been you know the the original look uh, one shape has been like undone so I have to uh, remake her original hairdo and at least make some kind of skirt for her I don't mind if she's missing the shoes but uh, she needs a skirt but otherwise she is in absolutely great condition uh, the hair is in great condition too thank god um, and I, I honestly it just amazes me every single time when I find one of these shopping dolls that how much hair they have it's, it's just amazing <laughs> in my opinion uh, another tiny doll and this is for my slowly uh, but surely growing collection of enchantables uh, this is the little penguin girl if I am correct I don't know the name of her but uh, she is in great condition honestly her hair is just perfect and she has still has her uh, headband now she is missing her skirt and shoes but I will uh, have I will uh, make something for her as and still need to make it for the other ones too but uh, otherwise I really like her and there is also uh, one of the little enchantable pets which are seem to be more rare than the actual like dolls I'm guessing because they are smaller uh, but this is the little monkey don't know the name again um, I do not have his friend like the doll monkey doll but um, hopefully in the future I will be able to uh, get her or find her and then I will have the pet for her so the pet is waiting here for her and there is also another um, enchantable doll and I was surprised to find this because this is as you can see and I'm sorry if the <laughs> glare is blinding you guys this is a brand new in box and I was just so happy when I found this one because I do not have this character nor the little pet so this is it and it says on the box so this is Brie Bunny and Twist so the little bunny is called Twist by the way absolutely love the, the artwork for these dolls they are just so adorable now the box is uh, in uh, a little bit bent and in a little bit uh, of a um, rough shape but I'm going to open it anyway I just wanted to show it to you guys like this so I'm really happy because this way I have the full doll and the pet and um, honestly I don't really like the combination of colors they use on her because she has like yellow shoes um, with the blue skirt and the whole pink look it just again the colors really like clash in my eyes so uh, I'm going to um, probably uh, make her a new skirt or, or something like that because I just really don't like the colors but otherwise I think she is uh, really cute and I really, really love the little bunny too so um, pretty cool find and by the way it, it was like three dollars uh, like brand new this uh, brand new in box and usually I play like one dollar for a doll like this so for three dollars I think it was worth it because in stores they are like way over ten dollars um, which honestly it's, it's a, in my opinion it's a little bit too much for uh, such tiny dolls um, but you know it's, that's just my opinion 
Now, uh, moving on to more dolls, uh, and I was really, really like happy, and I'm always happy when I find Monster High. You know, guys, how much I love Monster High. Uh, and there are quite a few of them. Uh, some of them, or most of them, are like complete with, um, you know, both no missing limbs, uh, and in pretty great condition too. Some of them came with clothes. Uh, I will try to remember which one came with clothes. Uh, and some of them are like uh, missing some uh, parts of them. So uh, let's start off with Miss Laguna Blue over here. And she is the Frights Camera Action version of Laguna. She has seen better days. Her hair is just... Um, I don't know, it's, it's pretty awful looking. And she is like all yellowed as you can probably see. Um, or you will be able to see it on the pictures. Otherwise she is in pretty decent condition. Uh, and, sh you know, all of these dolls are going into my uh, custom to be stock box, so uh, I don't mind if... Of, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> I don't mind this uh, yellowing on her, because I'm going to repaint her, like, full body and everything, so I don't mind. It's just that it's a shame that she was in, like, this rough... Um, probably kept somewhere on the sun. Somewhere, I don't know, near a window or something like that. And I remember that she was wearing like Kayomi's dress, which is uh, a bit weird, but okay. Uh, now uh, I have here a uh, Gigi, Gigi Grant. I'm pretty sure this is her um, 13 Wishes, you know, the basic slash 13 Wishes version. Um, a good chunk of her hair just has been like cut off and her hair is like really greasy and um, full of glue and, you know from the glue seepage from the head um, she has seen honestly better days because as you can see one of her legs is pretty loose and she is missing one hand uh, I do not remember if she came in some kind of clothes or not I don't think so, but I may be wrong. I don't know. I have here a Frankie, and this is from the Ghoul Spirit, if I'm correct, or Ghoul Sports, Ghoul, Ghoul Spirit uh, budget line. Uh, by the way, she is my second uh, uh, Ghoul Spirit Frankie, my third <laughs> Fred's Camera Action Laguna, and my third. <laughs> um, Dirty Wishes, uh, GG in my stock box. Funny. Um, she is in great condition, honestly. Her hair is beautiful. And she did come with almost her full outfit on. She was just missing one uh, one side of uh, her shoe, unfortunately. But yeah, otherwise she was in almost like full um, condition. And for $2, I mean, she was a great buy. Uh, I have here a Gulia, and I'm really happy because Gulia seems to be kind of rare because probably because she was like a, uh, a peg warmer or shelf warmer in the stores usually Gulia wasn't like a um, popular character not a lot of people liked her so uh, they didn't buy her doll and now that's why she's kind of rare because you know people didn't have dolls of her to throw out <laughs> if that makes sense uh, but she is in pretty good condition. The hair is so-so, um, uh, but she is also missing, honestly, uh, um, unfortunately, not honestly, unfortunately, um, one hand. But otherwise, she is in good condition. She is not loose, so she hasn't been like played with a lot. She came with some kind of other uh, type of doll clothes, so it was not monster high. I have here a Operetta. I have no idea which version of her. She's wearing brown makeup, so I have no idea which one is. Uh, her hair is in, again, not the best, not the worst condition, and her joints are really, really like uh, nice and uh, not loose, so she is in good condition. Uh, she was naked, if I remember correctly. Uh, I have here. What's uh, her name? Uh, Draculaura from the Haunted collection. This is my second Draculaura from the other collection, but the other Draculaura that I have uh, has a broken leg. Now this one is, as you can see, complete and uh, in pretty good condition too. The hair is uh, 
pretty okay. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, suffering from loose seepage, but otherwise it's in okay condition. And she did come with her um, hunted dress. Uh, no shoes, but the hunter dress was on her, which is honestly, I think, uh, really cool. I did not have that dress in my collection. And there is also another uh, Jackie Laura in horrible condition, like really, really horrible condition. Uh, I think she is the scariest version of her, but I may be wrong. Uh, and her hair just... She has a lot of hair, but it's just really like... Um, Kind of like a rat nest, you know, uh, it has been combed a lot, you can see it on it, and her bangs have been cut. So uh, whenever I um, um, customize her, this hair will just have to go, unfortunately, because it's, it's in really bad condition. She is missing one arm, as you can see. Otherwise, she is pretty loose, as you can see. Um, she had like half of her outfit on. She had like the scary stop, and she, I think she also came with a pair of shoes, which I was surprised that she still has those, but those weren't like the uh, the Dracula, the scary Dracula shoes, they were like some other type of shoe. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. You will, guys will be able to see the pictures of the dresses and the stuff that they came with. More Monster High dolls. <laughs> As I said before, I found quite a lot of them, and I'm really happy with this one. Because Cleo is another uh, character that's pretty rare when it comes to dolls, or at least for me. I honestly rarely find uh, Cleos. And uh, at the moment she is the only Cleo in my stock box with, with like more than 80 uh, dolls in it. So I'm really happy that I will be able to customize another uh, Cleo. And this is the Buyor Puyor version. Her hair is so beautiful, this dark, dark... Uh, blue uh, with some tinsel in it, but it's in really really good shape. I was afraid that the tinsel, you know, will uh, start fraying and whatnot. But no, it's in awesome condition, the doll is in awesome condition. And uh, I think she has some kind of dress on, I'm not sure which one, but it wasn't like the original New York uh, Cleo dress. But yeah, I'm really really happy uh, that I found her. I have here a uh, Again, pretty rare doll, uh, in my opinion, and this is Marisol uh, Kochi from um, from the Monster Exchange line. You know, the, she's the daughter of um, Mari Kochi or the Bigfoot, uh, and that's why she has these huge feet, and she is one of the tall ghouls, so if you guys uh, don't know Monster High, she is, as you can see, taller than a regular doll. And uh, I'm really, really happy that I found her because uh, until now I have never ever uh, customized a large ghoul, and uh, I don't even have one in my until now uh, in my stock box. So I'm really looking forward to customizing her. Not sure uh, what she will be, but I will figure something out. Um, she came naked like that. Uh, one of the reboot dolls, and I only bought her uh, probably because her hair is in great shape. This is from the reboot uh, Ari Huntington, um, you know, the girl who replaced Spectra, as we know. <laughs> and this is the, uh, I think it's the, and I'm pretty sure it is the electrified version, because that's why she has this huge uh, hairdo. But it's in really, really uh, good uh, condition and shape, so it's really... Uh, nice uh, to have uh, like this type of hair in good condition it's I was, I was again f afraid that it will be like a rat nest but no it's, it's in really great condition and the doll itself is in great condition it's really like stiff too like the previous owner didn't play a lot with her um, it's kind of uh, weird to touch and feel a reboot doll because I'm not used to them and uh, they are a little bit more, just a teeny tiny bit more chubbier than the regular Monster High dolls and the plastic just, I don't know, feels more stiff and more different. Not sure if that's like a better quality or a worse quality. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like it, but I, I prefer the old one. <laughs> If that makes sense, so, uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to customizing her anyway. 
we'll see what I come with, come up with. Uh, another another um, surprise find and also a uh, rare find is a Skeleta doll. And this is the first time ever that I found a Skeleta on the flea market. So Skeleta was, I guess, another like kind of unpopular character. I didn't know about that, but I guess a lot of people didn't like her or especially parents because you know she is like a skeleton uh, and uh, they did not like buy a lot ton of skeletons for their uh, daughters or sons um, but I am just really happy and that, that she is not broken because she is such a fragile doll and she still has all of her limbs because I, I really really want to uh, I do have another skeleton in my um, stock box but that was uh, bought from uh, someone online, so this is the first skeleton that I found on the flea market. And this is the, also the collector version, which is just blew my mind that this is the collector version and I found it on the flea market for uh, like $2. Um, she did come like this, so she does not have like her original outfit or not. That. Um, I was debating if I should um, customize her or not. Um, but you know, I'm. I'm not going to like buy her dress and keep it like that in my collection because I have the scary skeleton and it's enough for me. So yeah, she's probably going to be uh, customized, but um, yeah, it's it's still a pretty surprising find to me. And last but not least, a again a super big surprise to me. This is a boy doll, which is always you know great because I love boy dolls, and boy dolls are um, kind of rareish and expensiveish. Uh, he was okay, I mean he was three dollars, but this is a Holt Hide. And if you are a Monster High fan, you know that Holt Hide is again a really rare character and uh, at one point she was, uh, he was like really um, expensive too, especially the first edition. Now I do know that this is the um, Swim class? what was the name of that series it was like a another one of the like beach series because he does not have his yin yang uh, tattoo uh, on on his back and I do have the original basic version of uh, Holt Hyde from 2011 um, and uh, that has the tattoo so this is the beach uh, release of him because that did not come with the tattoo but it still amazes me how uh, like, if someone would have told me like a few years ago that uh, I will be able to find a hold hide, like a complete hold hide uh, on the flea market and I will be able to customize it, I would have said that that's not, no way, it, it's not possible. But yet here it is and I am super excited to customize him and uh, looking forward to it, so yay. <laughs> now, so those are all the Monster High dolls. I'm sorry if I talked a lot about them, but you know, it's just Monster High, it's just in my soul <laughs> and it will always be there. Um, another doll that I found, again, it was it's kind of surprising, but I guess it, they are now uh, coming because uh, in August too I found uh, one of these. It's the Nanana -na -na, uh, Surprise Dolls. And this is also a second series. The other doll that I had uh, found is from the second series, and this is also. Uh, second from second series, a bunny, a like winter, um, winter outfit, winter uh, looking bunny. Uh, really love the color. This uh, like icy blue on her and the white. It's super cute. I think her name is like Aspen Fluff, or something like that. I know I searched online. Now. Um, this doll is in... Uh, she has seen way better days, honestly. Um, she was like super super dirty when I got her, so I gave her a good wash. Um, dirt is gone, thank god, but she's still not in the best shape. I only, honestly, I only grabbed her because she has her outfit and the shoes, as you can see. And you know, my other Nana uh, doll does not have her shoes, but her outfit has seen way better days like I don't know whoever owned this doll just played with her in the dirt and like really rough, roughly 
her outfit is um, I don't know some parts of it it are coming off it had like a huge hole over here on the on the sleeve I stitched it closed and I will have to like uh, use a little bit of fabric paint to uh, hide that um, I don't know if you can see and you will probably be able to see it a little bit better on the picture that like the fabric that the doll is covered with you know the basically the skin of the doll uh, it's like coming off it's almost like a hole here in the on the face of the doll so I don't know what the the previous owner did with her like try to um, I don't know, try to uh, wash the floor with her or something like that. I don't know, but she, she's just, yeah, it has that ho almost hole on her face, and I'm not sure what to do with that. Um, I think I'm going to try and paint a little bit of fabric paint if I can somehow um, mix uh, a color that's like close to her skin color and try to hide it as best as possible because I really want to save this doll and I, I already did in a way um, but I just feel really really sorry for her and uh, her hair is again has seen way better days I washed it conditioned it and uh, the tinsel in it is just like really coming apart and uh, on the hair on these dolls is not the best quality I think I told you guys that um, before in the previous streamer cut holder I showed you the other doll and the hair it just comes out like really easily because it's just soon into this little headpiece so um yeah uh, she lost a lot of hair during the washing and conditioning process too uh, but her hair was just in really really like a rat nest and I had to uh, comb it and uh, yeah I, I somehow managed to make her look a little bit better but I cannot say that she's good as new um, she still needs some work but hey I am I'm still happy that I was able to save her and to add to my um, I'm not going to say collection because it's, she's only my second Nanana surprise doll but the collection is, is probably going to slowly grow <laughs> um, another type of teeny tiny dolls and you know guys that these are starting to pop up on the flea market these are the uh, little lol surprise dolls now i found more of these uh, and some of them are wearing their original outfits some of the other ones are really like completely different outfits i don't mind um at least they have clothes and you will be able to see the pictures of all of them um, there's not a lot of them but of all of them on the screen i'm not going to bore you guys with um, showing them to you one by one but I'm really happy uh, to find them and uh, going back I actually forgot to show you guys uh, that uh, during Monster High <laughs> the Monster High uh, like part of this video that I have found also some accessories for Monster High accessories like this uh, sofa I think it's from the coffin bin if I'm correct and on the picture you guys will be able to see that I found some other teeny tiny pieces not a lot but I'm still happy to add them to my um, spare monster high stuff uh, collection and speaking of doll accessories I have here a doll pet which uh, looks a bit uh, interesting and weird uh, but if you were collecting or know about Novistar or no stars uh, dolls you know the little um, alien dolls <coughs> excuse me you know alien dolls then you know that I absolutely love those dolls and I have a few in my uh, collection but I'm far for I'm far from completing my collection because the dolls that I'm missing from my collection are just super duper expensive and overall no stars dolls are with a few exceptions, the ones that I actually have in my collection, the other ones are like pretty rare too. So, uh, but one of the dolls that I own, uh, it's called Mimi Murray's, and I sh showed you guys like maybe two years ago or something like that in a flea market haul that I got her second hand from a local 
uh, like uh, someone a person for like three dollars which was an amazing deal because she is really really expensive online and kind of rare too uh, but she was missing her pet and now all of my other they are over there back on, on that shelf all of my other Novi Stars dolls are uh, complete and have all of, all of them have their pets um, the ones that came with pets because not all of them came with pets and she was the only one that was missing her pet and I wasn't able to find it online anywhere because again she is rare and uh, one of my collector friends uh, that uh, I talk with and I know him from online um, he posted a lot of uh, like Pokemon figurines for sale and mixed in with the Pokemon figurines I saw this pet and this is Mimi Marisa's pet um, pet alien because this is a alien thing but it, it looks like kind of like a kitsune or a uh, fox with three tails um, and I immediately uh, wrote to him that I want that one, that little pet, please uh, give it to me, I can pay for it, just I really really need it because my doll is not complete without it. And uh, hey, I got the little pet, so um, I am super grateful for him because he was lucky to find it with mixed in with those uh, Pokemon figurines and I was lucky enough to see it and to be able to uh, get it from him. So now all of my Novi Stars dolls and my Mimi Marie's Novi Star doll is finally complete and I just honestly can't it's just so amazing it's just such a amazing feeling <laughs> to complete a doll and uh, to have the little pet so I can't wait to put this over there on the shelf uh, next to her like how the other dolls have their pets so yeah it was just such a lucky um, lucky find and uh, now, last but not least, I have some troll dolls and some zelfs that I'm going to show you guys. And with that, this video will be done because it's already really long. Um, so yeah, troll dolls. Um, I have the first one here. Uh, I'm not sure about, still not sure about the, um, the brand of this little one. And it's one of those that like does not have or, like uh, fabric clothes. It's just molded on but as you can see this is a little singer one on a skateboard now I do have a boy version of this uh, with on another skateboard that's like playing guitar so I guess these two go together that's why I grabbed this one to be able to I don't know have the pair in my collection and uh, otherwise sh this is in really really good condition but it does not say what kind of brand it is so I don't know maybe it's a fake I don't know but it looks pretty cool um, I found two uh, Ross trolls. This is the first one. She is uh, like a um, Easter version with a super cute dress, a little umbrella, and a pair of bunny ears. I really love the hair color because it's not the usual uh, strong pink. It's a really like pastel pink, uh, which honestly in my collection I have. I don't think I have any other uh, trolls with this. Rostrals with this hair color, so I'm really happy, and uh, the fact that she's in such uh, great uh, condition, and that I don't have to all of these doll, uh, troll dolls, I don't have to finally don't have to <laughs> um, sew some clothes for them because they all have their clothes, so I can just you know display them with my uh, collection immediately. The other troll is. Uh, again the pink hair and as you can, guys can see this is the strong pink hair that I was talking about and this is the the light uh, pastel one but I really, really love this one this uh, um, color and this one is wearing like a nightgown uh, the nightgown is a little bit like faded in color but maybe that it's how it's supposed to be uh, she does not Originally, I don't think she comes with anything else, just this nightgown, so she's complete and in good condition. I have here a uh, type of... I just dropped something. Uh, never mind, I'm going to grab it later. So, um, this is a type of troll that I 
did not know they exist or haven't seen it until now and don't didn't have one uh, until now in my collection. This is a uh, Tina Cholop, um, and I do know that there's a boy version, which I don't know the name of. Um, these are again really cute, as you can see. It has the she has the um, original outfit and this little star thing that says Tina Trollop on it. Um, don't know much about these. It does not say um, like a year when it was released. Or uh, I don't think it says which uh, company made it. But it's a little bit chubbier than the, um, and bigger uh, than the other trolls. And I really like it. I think it's, she is uh, super cute. So I, I hope, I'm hopeful that I will be able to find more of her or the boy version of her because uh, the and it's it, the rubber that she's made of it's like not hard as the other ones it's a more a little bit more uh, bendable uh, one but again super cute uh, I have here two that are absolutely fake because I can feel it from the the plastic they are from made from and they don't have like any companies or anything uh, on it like brand names but I grabbed these because they have their clothes and it's a pair of them and I thought that they were super cute because this is a bride and groom and uh, I just think that they deserve a good home because they are just again super cute and with the, the clothes on them they are just yeah they need a good home so and that's why I actually uh, grabbed them otherwise I probably would have left them behind but you know it's 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 uh, it just meant to be <laughs> and um, another one and this is not a troll technically this is a one of the electric kits if I remember correctly the name um, this one is the gold version as you can see now uh, the thing with these uh, and I showed you one like some time ago I have a black version of this as well um, the thing with these, these come with uh, batteries and they move their hair to the beat of the music so they have these um, sound sensors in them and the dude from where I bought this see that it is working now I came home, I put some batteries in it and it is not working <laughs> So, um, shame on the guy, because he lied about this working, although it was like one dollar, so uh, I'm not too bummed about it, but I would have preferred if he told me the truth that, hey, it's not no longer working, I still would have probably bought it, so, you know. But I guess uh, some people just like to lie, uh, uh, like while trying to sell their stuff, but, uh, you know, it's a shame, but uh, I'm still pretty uh, happy with it. And I have found some Zelfs as well. Uh, I have two of the larger Zelfs. This is the first one. I really, really love this one. It's so pretty. It's the um, Cherry Blossom Zelf. I don't know the name of it, but it's it's super pretty. She also has like wings and whatnot. So, and, you know, Cherry Blossoms are my favorite uh, flower as well. So, really nice. Now, this other one, it's the Griffin uh, Zelf. And he has seen way better days because he has been chewed on by the previous owner like really really badly um, you can see one of the wings is just like parts of it have been chewed off and also the end of the tail the feet um, I will try to do something with the with the wings and the tail with some uh, you know brushed out yarn uh, and it will have like fluff like uh, the type of fluff that um, the hair is made of so you know, to hide these uh, ugly parts. But again, I felt sorry for the guy, so that's why I grabbed it. And I also have, and that's what I dropped, and I don't know where, uh, found two of the teeny tiny mini uh, Zalps. You'll be able to see those on the pictures. They are really cute. And last but not least, and this is really the last thing that I'm going to show you guys in this video, I have found two more of these tiny voodoo uh, dolls these are called watch over voodoo if i'm correct and here they are i am really starting to get into these and starting to like them i think they are really really um, cute and fun 
I don't think these are like some kind of like official like correct characters. They are just simple little voodoo dolls, but I really really love them and how they look. So uh, and and I'm the only problem with these that you cannot wash them. So you have to be careful if you are getting one that's like dirty, because I I I'm, I'm not sure if you can like how well you can clean them. These are pretty pretty clean, so uh, I'm I'm uh, happy with how they look. And I have like one or two more of these, so again, I slowly start a uh, slowly uh, growing collection. Uh, but I'm looking forward to finding more of these, uh, hopefully, whenever I will be able to go back to the pre market. So, yeah, that's about it for this first part of this uh, pre market haul. And uh, Hopefully soon I will be able to post the second part of this uh, video as well where I will show you guys the action figures and figurines that I uh, was able to grab from the flea market. And um, until then, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, you can also go ahead and like and subscribe to me, to my channel uh, if you want to see the second part of this video and uh, hopefully some in the future some other um, like free market hauls and other toy and door reviews of course and you can comment again on this video on my facebook page the link will appear down below here you can go ahead and like that page you will be able to get notifications whenever i upload something and uh, if there are some kind of news that i would like to share with you guys again you will be able to uh, see it over there and uh, i will guy i will see you guys in the second part of this video or whatever I'm going to upload after this video I'm not sure yet probably a review or something but yeah I will see you guys uh, then thank you so much for watching